Welcome back. It is day four. Actually, this is the last segment of, of day four of Phonathon 2020 here at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. If you've not uh, connected with us yet or we've not had a chance to connect with us, would you please, 888-TBC, um, the number two, D-A-Y. Uh, you would think after a full week of this, I would remember just uh, just like that. But at any rate, uh, we'd love to connect with you, catch up, make sure that uh, we've got good connection, good contact information, pray with you, see what's going on in your world, learn more about your own Trinity story, and, and then obviously give you an opportunity to partner with us to fund the Trinity Operational Scholarship Fund. With that, I am joined by Michael Land. Hi, Michael. Thanks for having me. It, this is great. Um, Michael's a good friend, and um, we're going to talk about the music program here at Trinity Bible College. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and then we'll just go from there. Awesome. Well, my name's Michael, and I'm originally from Bismarck, North Dakota, and I'm starting my eighth year this, uh, this semester at Trinity. Really? You've um, been here that long? Yeah. Wow. So it's been... Uh, it's been a it's been an awesome journey for me personally, um, and then getting to see now kind of a few rounds of students. You know, in the college experience when you're teaching, uh, you kind of see these four year cycles. So now I'm getting to see a few cycles, and it's like uh, it's it, it's rewarding in a way yeah. uh, to be able to see uh, how our students have developed once coming through. So, what are your areas of responsibility? Music could be pretty broad. Um, but Trinity is unique. Yeah. I oversee the music minor. Okay. And I also see, um, help teach all the courses that are with the worship ministry major. Um, a, a track I think that's just four or five years old for us. Also, I direct the choir, which is a big uh, student ministry involvement. Mm -hmm. And I uh, help with chapel music teams. So the four days a week chapel, yeah. we're doing... Um, four days of music sets, and, and those are student-led teams that I helped oversee. Okay, okay. So, why? Let's just start right at the beginning. Why would a student uh, come to Trinity Bible College and pursue the music ministry major? Well, I think, uh, well, just to clarify the term, it's worship ministry. Thank and you. And there's a reason, there is a reason that, we, that we have that distinction, because one of our strengths at Trinity is Bible, right? We're a Bible college. Yeah. So part of the tension with music ministry is a lot of churches, of course, desire to have someone who is just an awesome musician in the role. And, of course, that's our desire for our students. Now, you can't become an awesome musician as hard as you try in four years, right? Uh, you can't become really anything great in four years. <laughs> but... This environment here is uniquely suited, we believe, to prepare students with a balance of pastoral training yeah. and music training. So That's good. we're not just saying we're going to make the best musician, but we want to make uh, the best, help to form the best pastors that are also musical, if okay. that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So we don't, we don't, of course, music is important, but obviously it's the church ministry that comes first. So worship ministry then is the title we ended on. And to that end, uh, we learned today, or, or sorry, we learned um, uh, recently, um, not, not today, a couple a couple weeks ago actually, uh, that you're going to also be, be also be teaching some courses within the biblical studies theology. Uh, right, so, so one of the, because worship ministry is part of our ministry degrees, um, it makes sense for me to be a part of that um, department, which has been part of the great thing about uh, for me on this journey, um, being at Trinity, I studied music in a more traditional or you know classical music as a standard. Of course, I was raised in the church, but now getting to be in this uh, this context, of course, have developed um, a lot of like you know theological ideas yeah. as well. You know, and like reading and things like that. Yeah, so. that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, what are some things that, that if a student were to come here that they would they they could expect it in this in this program. Um, yeah, let's go there and I'll yeah. have the follow-up question. So one of the things that we're excited about our um, our program, our opportunities here at Trinity is is literally that just opportunity. Um, we mentioned the weekly chapel teams. 
Uh, students uh, lead a time of music and prayer on Friday nights um, called Respond. Uh, there's a traveling team that goes out. There's the choir. Um, there are maybe spontaneous worship gatherings. There's church, local church ministry. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity um, because, of our, because of our size. And then I think um, we're approaching this specific, this specific um, discipline in a very uh, innovative way in that we're not just saying, you know, just be an awesome musician. Of course, that's a goal. But we're saying let's develop um, the pastoral, the discipleship, and let's see how we can tie these two hand in hand. Because ultimately, uh, a church wants someone to help lead and disciple people. They don't want just a, a great musician. It's, it's good. It's good. So for our music purists out there, there there's the music major who is a, a music teacher. There's a music, maybe there's a music performer out there that, that obtained a, uh, a degree in, in music. Um, I have a music minor from my college. It was a performance based. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so there, is there no theory? Is there you know, what, where, what, what music? <laughs> right, right. That's the worry, right? No, of course. So we have we have um, foundational music theory um, for aural skills. So learning to play by ear, learning to hear melodies by ear. That's a, a strong emphasis in our courses. But then we're also thinking about like a practical course, like worship leading. What does that entail? Um, choosing songs well, um, leading an ensemble, um, and then even a, a traditional sense of uh, choir singing, right? Singing and making music with others in a context that isn't maybe quite as common in a lot of our churches today, yeah, yeah. but it's this broader expression of music, right? Uh, you know, that's a typical p complaint in church music is like, oh, it's just this one style, or can we get all these styles? But music, one of the things we're trying to do here, and I'm trying to help this, is expose our students to a wide range of music and not just uh, the three or four songs that we hear most Sundays. Yeah, and, and whatever's popular on the current <laughs> exactly, uh, exactly. top 40, if you will. Uh, okay, all right. Um, we, we see transformation in students' lives, both uh, music. As I sit uh, week after week, I've commented to you, I've commented to other students who, uh, who to the students themselves who are leading from week to week. I, I can just hear their, their vocal, um, uh, th that they've been working with you, they've been growing. Uh, beyond those mechanics of being involved in music ministry, what do you see happen in the hearts of that sort of transformation in some of these students that came here and say, yes, I, I, I want to be a worship ministry major. I want right, to be. right. Yeah, I think that's what Trinity is really, when I'm talking to prospective students or other people about Trinity, this is what our community does well, and that's foster uh, a sense of a spiritual growing, a rooting into um, the things of God, whether that be, of course, studying in Bible classes. Um, but also in chapel where we're, where we're having, we're seeking encounters with God. And students, of course, they have to attend chapel, but we find our students attending voluntary events. And so our community helps to foster this well, this love, this passion for God. And then that's the thing that comes alongside the academic component, um, which is really beautiful to see, I think, ultimately. Yeah, yeah. So it's seeing students apply the academic, the philosophy, the theology, all of these things, but then with the heart behind it. Mm, that's good. Uh, one more sort of practical thing. Um, can, uh, can we expect, could a pastor out there expect, for example, they're looking for somebody to, to serve, uh, as a, to provide good worship leading, music ministry, um, uh, but then also, it'd be nice if they could come and ha know a thing or two about the soundboard. <laughs> so, does right, your curriculum right. include some of those? Yes, things? yes, it does. It does. All all of the music minor or worship ministry are required to do a, a, a course, which takes part of all these you know technology um, things: running a soundboard, um, knowing about lighting, knowing about now. The, of course, the video aspect, which has become a lot more. Um, you know, in our face, so-called, with yeah, this last yeah, pandemic. Right, so, right. yeah, so absolutely, those are things that we're always trying to, um, you know, inform the students and make sure they have a knowledge of when they sure. move here. So, smart enough to, to know how to figure it out even. So yes, exactly, exactly. Hey, let's let's land with this. We're, we're actually going to, um, uh, in, 
in a moment when we're done, we're going to show, uh, let our viewers see a, 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 a video testimony, if you will, of one of your uh, students who's been, been through your program. But uh, before we came in, you mentioned just one particular situation during this um, pandemic where you were just really encouraged by some of the a student or whatever. Um, right, right. So tell me. Yeah, tell so about I was that. I was saying how when we are kind of all shut down, you know, in March or April, um, that really gave me an opportunity not being involved, uh, you know, right at ten thirty every Sunday, you know, maybe helping with music out of my own church, uh, but now I was able to hop online and there was one Sunday where I was like, you know, I watched one one group of students that had recently graduated leading music, then I jumped to the next one, then I jumped to the next one, and it was like, wow, here are like students that I've had a part in their training, and they're using their gifts for the local church. And so that was really encouraging and beautiful to see, because I mean, ultimately, as professors, we do a lot of work in investing into students' lives, and having conversations, and teaching courses, and grading assignments, and all those things. But ultimately, we understand our our part is being quite small next to the work that God does in these students' lives. So it's just kind of, it was sort of really encouraging and a privilege to see, wow, I was a part of some of these students' lives that are now doing the actual work. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Oh, pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, there you have it, folks. Uh, it's good to good to visit with with you, Michael, and, and learn all that's going on. And, and now you have a, a little more. Um, um, you all watching have a better understanding of what goes on here in the, in the music programs here at Trinity Bible College. And we want to leave you now with a uh, testimony of, uh, of a student. Uh, maybe we even have two. I don't remember now. But <laughs> um, enjoy, and we'll be back be back with you soon. God bless. Hi, my name is Luke Jacob. I am from right here in Ellendale, North Dakota, um, where Trinity Bible College is located. And I'm currently a junior I'm studying both youth and worship ministries. Um, I chose Trinity uh, mainly because of the family uh, that Trinity is. Um, Trinity feels like home, and it's the place that, that I call home. Um, as, as a child, my family was missionaries overseas in Northern Asia, and I moved around a lot, and I didn't have one specific place that I would call home. And uh, that changed when I came here to Trinity. And uh, so I'm very thankful that God has brought me um, here. Something that I uh, appreciate the most about um, my time here at Trinity and the program um, is just the practicality of, of everything that I do. I have classes um, in my program of study that not only help me to become a better musician um, with technical skill and uh, be, become a better a musician and a better singer, but also classes that focus on being a better worship leader and how to pastor um, from the stage um, through worshiping and song. And so I'm very thankful um, for that, for all my professors, um, for the community that I'm allowed to be a part of here at Trinity and the, the very formative experience uh, that it is. I think um, if you don't leave Trinity changed, then you didn't do Trinity the right way. Um, Trinity is is has helped me so much to step into the calling um, that I believe God has placed on my life. And I have people around me from professors and both my peers and my fellow students who encourage me um, daily um, to chase after um, what God has put on my heart to do, which is to be a worshiper of Him, I, I believe. Um, so I am very thankful um, for Trinity and for what it has done in my life, for the opportunities that I have not only in the classroom to learn, um, but in the opportunities in the community and in the state where I can put into practice um, the things that I learn. So I'm very thankful for that. Hey, welcome back, everyone, to Trinity's Phonathon 2020. Uh, I'm with Luke Jacob. You just watched his uh, little testimony that he had him sharing. Luke, that was awesome. Thank awesome. You. Um, I was I was kind of struck by the business. You sound like a military kid, honestly. Uh, your your the vocation that your parents chose took you here and there, never in one place too long, and that it was it was this community both Ellendale and the Trinity community, that it's, this is home. And unpack that for us a little, would you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I was originally born in Minnesota mm -hmm. and lived there for the first few years of my life, um, not, not for very long. 
and my family was missionaries, so we moved around a lot, um, overseas, just to different places. And I've never lived anywhere for longer than four years, um, except for here in Ellendale at Trinity. Mm. And so not only just the community um, in Ellendale, but the community at Trinity was very meaningful for me um, to, to pursue calling with other people of like mind mm. um, who are pursuing Christ um, with one another as we encourage one another and cheer one another on. Um, the leadership that we have here at Trinity, um, I'm so thankful for the, the culture that they've built here yeah. and that they allow me to, um, to be a part of and to grow develop there. Uh, grow and develop. I remember when when uh, Luke would first begin leading uh, worship and to watch you grow and mature in both uh, your crafts, your craftsmanship as a musician, both your sensitivity as uh, to the spirit of the Lord as a worship leader. Um, Luke also is a, a periodic worship leader at our, the church that my wife and I attend. And so um, it's fun to watch you on, on Sunday mornings and and then we talk afterwards now and again, and, yeah. and that's so so proud of you. So so Thank you. how how what sorts of things would would you say you you've learned here? Um, and this is not scripted. Luke doesn't know what I'm going to ask you. So uh, what sorts of things have you learned here? One or two maybe that just say wow, that's that's big here to me. That's, that's that was a that was from the educational standpoint, or just the you know overall. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think just the pastoral aspect of being a worship leader. Mm. Um, a lot of times, you know, we see worship leaders uh, one day a week on Sunday mornings, and you know, we maybe hear them sing for 20 minutes for four songs or however long your Sunday morning set list is, and then that's it, and you, you don't really think of them outside of that role. So something that I believe my professor has done very well, um, teaching and um, you know, repeating to me is that we're pastors um, from the stage, that we're communicating a message, almost a sermon, um, mm -hmm. through a song. And not only, not only us, but God is also using us and working through us to say what he wants to say to um, the congregation, to the people who are hearing us. And we're just, we're, we're directing the congregation in worshiping of Christ. It's not, we're the performers, the congregation is the audience, and God is the director. Um, God is the audience, um, the congregation is yeah. the performers. And we as worship leaders are just leading the congregation in worship of um, God, our Father and, and Savior. Yeah. Amen. I, 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 we, we chatted with Michael before this segment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Michael Land, the, the department uh, yeah. head for your for this program, and and I know that was something that I was I was not familiar with the the pastoral nature of the program that our that our worship ministry students uh, re we invest that into them that this is a you are a pastor as well that pastoral aspect of it and I think I think that's excellent and it's and it's scriptural it's right on and then I love it God is the audience yeah. and we together as a congregation yeah uh, are, are the are the participants and, and the the, uh, the choir if you will yeah. that's yeah. great that's so great yeah um, uh, again Luke so proud of you so and and you're a junior, you said. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that means you're going to graduate spring of 2021. Yes. Okay. 2022. Yeah. Spring, spring 2022. Yeah. 2022. So this, this young man, pastors, will be available. <laughs> uh, you want to start uh, talking to him now? Bring him out. Have, maybe he wants to do an internship at your church. I don't know. <laughs> Luke, we're proud of you, Thank and we're you. so grateful that you and your family that you've made the decision personally to respond to God's call on your life to be here. We're, we so love your mom and dad and their investment into this institution. Um, and um, it's just, this is an incredible place, folks. We are so thankful for you making this possible. You're giving, you're praying. Thank you so much. Connect with us this week. Uh, we're on day four, phone -thon, one more day to go. Um, and uh, you can do that at 888-TBC, the number two, D-A-Y, or you can visit our, us online at trinitybiblecollege.edu slash phonathon. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.